all right um just to shed more light on the issue of power supply okay you said um you initially had power supply in your factory but over time the power supply deteriorated yeah i'll say similar to most places or most factories in nigeria that is um the issue which we have power supply I don't know why our government is reluctant in tackling the issue of power supply in this country. But it's one of the major challenges which most business owners face. In short, regardless of um, manufacturing or retail, every sector is feeding it. So the thing is, um, using a generator, you will be buying petrol or you will be buying diesel to fuel your generator. And you know this will increase the expenses it will affect your profit margin because when you are accounting for your expenses now you have to include um purchase of petrol or diesel for production and the ultimate goal of your factory should be for you to implement strategies that's the management team you need to think of strategies and ways which you will cut costs coming into the factory. So besides buying fuel for your delivery vehicles, you are also buying fuel now for production. And you know, cost of raw materials, they are increasing due to inflation. Cost of production too is increasing. That general production, which includes um, cost of maintenance, cost of um, paying your staffs, even the people working for you now these days, they want to see something more coming in because everybody is feeling it. So running the factory with generator is not advisable. We tried it in our own factory, although we still do some production because I won't say completely we don't use generator. There are some times where we use um, generator, but ultimately we only use the gen in rare cases. Maybe if there is no light for three days, four days, or maybe let me even say two days, from two days upwards. <laughs> um, that's when we make use of the generator. So what we do is we have an accommodation for our operator. We have two operators working in our mini factory. So once there is light, whoever is on ground will begin production immediately. They do it like um, shifts, we interchange them. One person will come, maybe spend three days. The other one will come, spend his own three days. Or they can do one day in, one day out amongst themselves, however they schedule it. So, you know, there are some times where light will come. So immediately the light comes, we begin production. Sometimes the light might last for, even though it's two hours that they bring the light for, even though it's one hour, at least within, within that one hour, you've stacked up maybe a hundred bags or more safe so depending on how quick the operator is so that's one strategy which we've implemented we try to make the operators comfortable you know create accommodation a space for them to stay at least to charge their phone if there is food anything we can do for them so that they won't say they are going out to go and look for food maybe when they go out to look for food they will bring light and you will try to reach them you can't reach them or something so just try to make it as comfortable as you can for your, the operator so that immediately there is light they begin production and you can pump the water ahead of time maybe um, with the generator because we've also adopt such strategy when we see that the tanks are completely dry that's the raw water tank there is no water we can use gen even though it's for one hour just to pump water then once we pump water we you know transfer maybe to the semi treated tank and do backwashing so that immediately they bring light we won't need to start doing backwashing we just begin with production so that's another strategy which we've implemented on that then also um there's the issue of solar now in our factory one of our factories in gora a while back we were using solar for it so the solar which we used was just for um, the borehole 
and for running some minor equipment i think the reverse osmosis yes the things we used for the solar were not much because the solar which we had at that time was not it was just the solar that we had at one residence we said okay let's try using it in the factory so it wasn't doing much for us but there are factories now that actually run on solar in short i was trying to do some research uh some days back and you know i calculated okay to run a pure water factory with at least two machines you need a generator of 10 kv at least a 10 kv generator should run the factory for you with uh, two pure water machines that's including your bowl so similarly we just did okay rough estimate you also need probably a 10 kva solar or more to run your pure water factory why i said that or more is maybe if you are running other stuff or you don't we don't really you know since it's not something that i've actually experimented so let's just leave it open anything from 10 kva upwards so for that um that estimates which we calculated because we installed a lithium battery solar inverter which works absolutely fine like it's perfect that is a 5 kva um solar inverter yes with panels and the lithium battery so to install that we installed that like some years back i think now it should be over two to three years getting to three years when we install that so um with that solar inverter now if you are to double the capacity let me see the budget for that should be around 15 million 15 million naira. now it will look like a huge sum of money but if you think of the return on investment because this is something which we are actually planning for a few of our factories if you think of the return on investment and the efficiency of solar you see that is the best is the best thing you can do for your factory by far as a pure water manufacturer if you can have a good solar especially that lithium battery um inverter for you to install it in your factory it's like you've closed chapter with anything disappointment when it comes to pure water production so this um, solar inverter actually have the contact of the supplier maybe if you are interested this solar inverter will anytime you want to produce you can produce and if you want to produce for eight hours in a day you can produce when you start production in the morning your solar is on the panels are on everything is working like the panels are okay your own is just to be maintaining the solar once in a while and like the company that supplied our lithium battery solar inverter they do maintenance they come just a little fee i think last time they came they were charging how much uh, i don't know maybe you discuss with them <laughs> depending on the kind of solar you work with i'm sure they will charge for that but they just do maintenance to make sure that the thing is running they also give um warranty which is good in case the battery or anything has issues in short, when we installed ours, there was one connection that wasn't very straightforward. And we communicated with them. They came and they got the job done. So when it comes to the issue of warranty, at least warranty is there. And a company that you pay that amount of money to, they won't play with your maintenance and warranty. So solar is by far, if you want to just handle the issue completely, I would highly recommend solar. But um, if you can't go for the solar now, I think the thing is just to schedule production, have operator on ground, someone who can, you know, work on the machine for you immediately when there's light to produce enough water. And by the time you schedule it, you plan your production, you won't run out of water in the factory. In short, your customers won't even know that there's a gap in production. So that's just the tip that I have for now. I hope that helps.